So React 16.8 was released a couple of hours ago, which officially introduces something known as React Hooks in the master branch of React. Now, Hooks has been around since the October and November beginning after the React conference, but finally they have actually released it officially. So let's just take a look what Hooks are. So I'm gonna set up a new React project by quickly saying create React app and in the same directory that is desktop slash react hooks which is going to add a new project pretty quickly for us to get started once it's done we could just simply say yarn start in here if you're using npm that's not a problem you could do just do npm start and it should just work fine we also need to have uh, our code right here open so there we go so what's the deal with hooks is is that earlier if you want to have functional components with state or with some sort of remembering mechanism you cannot do that with functions functions were stateless component now if your components are stateless that is your functional components are stateless there is no point of having life cycle events as well right but Hooks like use state and use effect introduce statefulness and lifecycle like events in our functional component. So if you take a look here, we see that this is our application with create react app. And let's just convert this into a functional component by saying function app instead of class, which is essentially what we want, right? And we don't need a render method here. It's just gonna return us a component hit save we do not need this component anymore now and there we go it pretty much looks just like it would have looked with a class component now let's just go ahead and make use of effects or state let's just go ahead and make use of state first and make sure you're running react 16.8 because this is officially supported in react 16.8 so I'm gonna bring in use state from react which allows us to make stateful functional components how well let's see so i'm going to define my state stateful variable let's say counter and this is the getter of the stateful variable and set counter is the setter right which would be having a state default value of zero okay so what we are doing here the first element which is returned in so you state actually returns you an array returns you an array of length 2 right the zeroth element is the getter of the stateful variable that means you can see what the value of the state is and the first element is the setter that is this is a function which can be used to set its value right you cannot directly do like counter is for or something like that that's not allowed you have to use the setter which is provided by react right so once we have that we could pretty much go ahead and say that my counter is um, counter right just like that and if you save this right now what you're gonna see is right here we see that my counter is zero which is expected right so if we change this from a to button let's say button and this to button as well and change this to increment counter and remove all this and just leave out on click we want our you know increase counter function to fire so we could just pretty much go ahead and create this function right here increase counter which just sets the counter to count plus one right so let's see what we are doing here counter plus one right so what we are doing here is we are using a use state hook which initializes our counter variable to zero and gives us a reference to the setter of this counter variable then on clicking this button we are firing this increase counter function which is declared here and if you have an eagle eye you have noticed that i've declared this function after return statement so you might be thinking this function would never be you know reached but if you have a knowledge of javascript called hoisting then you know that this declaration is going to be hoisted at the top so this is no problem right 
So increase counter is called, which calls the setter of this function, and then we increment its count by one. So if we take a look now, and if we click on this, you see that we have a stateful functional component, which was not really possible before using hooks, or maybe using like, you know, any other hacks or something. But hooks is the officially supported way. Use state is one hook, use effect is another hook, which provides you with lifecycle like events, like component did mount, component did update, stuff like that. We're gonna take a look at that later on. And you could obviously create your custom hooks as well, which is pretty exciting if you ask me. So yeah, that's your basic introduction to hooks. And that's all for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next video.